Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about balancing equations. The goal of a balanced equation is to have the same number of elements on the reactant as the product side. Keep in mind, you can't change subscripts, but you can add coefficients. I think the easiest method is to draw a line down from the arrow and then list the elements involved and start with metals and work down to non-metals then oxygen and hydrogen if you have them. If you'll notice, that's what I've done. So let's start counting atoms. On the reactant side, the left side, I have one silicon, I have two chlorines, I have one oxygen, and four hydrogen. And then on the product side, I have four silicons, I have one chlorine, I have four oxygen, and then I have nine hydrogens because I have one hydrogen in the HCl. So now let's start with the metals and get the silicons balanced. I can do this by multiplying four times the compound on the reactant side. So when I do that, I go four times two with hydrogen and that gives me eight, plus I have two from H2O, so that gives me 10 now. And then I have four silicons I have eight chlorines, and I still have one oxygen. So now we have one chlorine on the product side, but eight on the reactant side. So what I can do is multiply HCl by eight. So when I do this, that now gives me 16 hydrogens, and it gives me eight chlorines. So now we have the silicons in balance, the chlorines, and <clears throat> we need to get the oxygen in balance. And so right now I have four on the reactant side, excuse me, four on the product side, and I only have one on the reactant. So in order to get these in balance, I can multiply H2O by four. So that now gives me 16 hydrogens because I have eight hydrogens of H2O and eight from the other compound. So I have 16 hydrogen and that gives me four oxygens. So now when I go back, you will notice that the hydrogens from before where I put the eight in front of the HCl and it gave me 16, those are in balance. So if you'll notice the silicon's in balance, the chlorine's in balance, the oxygen is balanced and the hydrogen. So there we go. Solving balancing equations. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.